Welcome back! Today we're going to take a look at movement. We will learn how to move your models around the field as well as measure distances in the game. Let's start with measuring. To measure the distance between two models, draw a straight line from the closest edge of one model's base to the closest edge of the other. Note that Eldfall Chronicles allows different options for pre-measuring, that is measuring distance before committing to actions. For beginners, we recommend pre-measuring in all instances, as it will make the game easier. For more experienced players, we recommend the other two modes, with limited pre-measuring and without it. You can find more on this in the rulebook in the Distance and Measurement section. And now let us take a look at movements. There are normal and special movements. The most common two movements are walk and run. As we remember from last time, a model can declare a movement when it is performing the movement step of its own activation sequence. During this step, it can declare one type of movement. The most basic normal movement is walk. Walk allows a model to move across the field up to its speed value in inches. For example, if a model has speed 5, it can move up to 5 inches by choosing walk. The model can move in any direction across the surface, it can take turns or double back if it wants to. As walk is a normal movement, the model will be able to perform a normal action after it moves, in the same activation sequence. Important to note is that the model needs to measure the exact route it will take, and not just the distance between the start and the end point. The distance of movement should be measured from the same point on the model's base. So if you start measuring from the front edge of the base, then the part that ends the furthest should be that same front edge. While moving, models can move freely over obstacles that are lower than their hitboxes. The second really important movement is run. Run allows a model to move up to twice its speed value in inches. In all other respects, run follows the same rules as walk. The exception is that run is a special movement that cannot be paired with actions, meaning that a model that ran will not be able to declare any actions after it moves. There are of course multiple other movements that allow your models to interact with the rain battle, such as climb and jump, or to simply remain in place and change faces. But for more details on this, please take a look at the list of movements section of the rulebook. This is all for today. Next time we will learn how the models perform their actions. Until then, thank you for watching this video and see you in the next one.